In this tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how to insert QuizMaker and engage interactions in the uh, presenter course. So it's actually pretty straightforward. So I've got the Articulate tab here. And if I want to insert a quiz or engage interaction, I just select those right here. So let's go ahead and say we're going to insert a quiz. So I'm going to click on that. It opens up this dialog. So I've got a couple of options. One is I can create a new quiz. Now typically I try not to do that. What I like to do is keep all my media production separate. So if I know I'm going to have a quiz or if I know I'm going to have an engage interaction, what I like to do is build those separately and save them and then I add those in as existing. And that's just so I don't have multiple applications open. But you can create a new quiz and do everything on the fly. I'm going to go ahead and add an existing quiz. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, that takes me to my practice folder. So I've got my quiz maker file in here. So my practice quiz. I'm going to insert that. So it's going to insert the quiz and do whatever it has to do um, to get the quiz ready. Uh, you'll notice I've got my quiz. It's on slide five. And you can see I can edit it. Um, and then there's some quiz properties as well. So let's close this. What it did is it created a placeholder slide. If I want to edit it, I just click on edit. Or I can come up here, quiz maker. It'll give me a list of all the quizzes. In this case, slide five. And then I can edit the quiz and modify that. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's say I want to insert an engage interaction. It works exactly the same way. I just click on engage. It's going to open up that same window. The only difference is I get the engage tab. And again, you can create one on the fly or add an existing one. I already have one, so I'm going to find that one here, which I think we have. So the accordion demo. So I'm going to insert that. So it's going to go through the same process, get everything prepped so that I can actually see um, the final quizzes and interactions uh, when I do the preview. So if I want to edit it, I can edit that here. You can see I've got some properties here as well. I'll go ahead and hit close. Let's preview these and see what they look like. I'm going to save this first. And we just need to go to preview. So I'm going to preview slide five and six. And I'll show you what's kind of neat about this. And it's a big change from uh, Studio 09. So let's preview the next three slides. So what it's going to do is it's going to build out that quiz preview. And what you'll notice is the quiz questions show up in the side panel in the side menu and same with the engage interactions which is kind of nice because in the older versions of Studio so here's what I'm saying in the older versions of Studio Quiz Maker would have its own player and the engage interaction oops the engage interaction would have its own player um, so if we look at the quiz first you can see I've got my quiz and I collapse this and open it up you notice that uh, it's showing my quiz questions, right? So here are these quiz questions we built earlier. Uh, so you can see it's showing the quiz questions, and um, they're all here, and I can see if they've been answered or not. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that. Okay, so I see it's marking it right. We'll click on banana. And you can see it marked that one wrong. Um, let's click on, let's submit that. That's also wrong. And then we'll select that, and that's going to be right. So you can see it goes through here. I can see all my quiz questions on the side menu. Um, the other thing is on the accordion interaction, I can see all the interactions here. And again, like I was saying earlier, in the in the version 09 or Studio 09, uh, Engage would have its own player. But when I bring it into Presenter, now Engage and QuizMaker are integrated with the player. So everything looks really seamless. So I've got my introduction. So this is that interaction we built earlier in the demo. And you can see all the interaction panels are here for me to select from. So that's kind of a nice uh, change in uh, Studio 13. So that's basically it. And then at any point, if you want to edit those things, you can click on the slides on these edit options, or you can click up here and do the editing.